हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री राइट एंड हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द इमेज ऑफ ए पॉइंट इन अ लाइन राइट सो लेट अस टेक द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन विल सॉल्व इट सो हियर गोज द प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इमेज ऑफ द पॉइंट जीरो कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री in the line x plus 3 over 5 is equal to y minus 1 over 2 is equal to z plus 4 over 3 right so here uh, what we are given uh, we are given the cartesian equation of a line right so uh, let us take the line like this and suppose uh, this is the line l whose equation is given over here right and uh, uh, we have a point say p uh, whose coordinates are uh, 0, 2, 3 right and now uh, we have to find the uh, image of this point p in this line right so here uh, this line l uh, it would uh, it would act as a mirror uh, for uh, this point uh, p right so now uh, we can here assume this line l as a mirror and we have to find the uh, coordinates of the uh, image of this point p uh, in this line right now let us take the image of this point p uh, with respect to this line l as q right so obviously if we take this point p above the line then its image must lie below the line right so let us uh, uh, assume the coordinates of the image uh, of this point p which is q as alpha beta and gamma right so q is the image of this point p right so now what we will do uh, will uh, join uh, these two points p and q right and now we see that uh, this line segment or this line pq is perpendicular to this line l right so we can take this angle as 90 degree and now here if we see uh, this uh, uh, line pq it intersects this line l at this point right and let us take this point as r right and obviously uh, this point r is the midpoint of uh, the line segment pq right so r is the midpoint of uh, pq okay so now here uh, first of all what we will do we'll try to find out the coordinates of this point r right so let us first take uh, the equation of this line l which is x plus 3 over 5 is equal to y minus 1 over 2 is equal to z plus 4 over 3 right so now uh, here uh, we'll take uh, a scalar lambda where lambda is some scalar and uh, we have assumed this scalar lambda to find out the coordinates of the general point lying on this line l right so now uh, if we take uh, this scalar lambda then uh, from this equation we can write x plus 3 over 5 is equal to lambda y minus 1 over 2 is equal to lambda z plus 4 over 3 is equal to lambda right so now from here uh, we have got uh, three equations so we can now solve them uh, uh, for x y and z so we have x is equal to 5 lambda minus 3 y is 2 lambda plus 1 and z is 3 lambda minus 4 right so now we have the uh, coordinates x y z as 5 lambda minus 3 2 lambda plus 1 and 3 lambda minus 4 right so now we can take Uh, this coordinate as the coordinates of this point r right 
so now we have the coordinates of this point r uh, like this right so we have written this coordinate over here and uh, our next step is to find out uh, the direction ratios of uh, this line pr right so the direction ratios of uh, pr uh, can be calculated by uh, subtracting uh, this coordinate from this coordinate right so we can now write uh, 5 lambda minus 3 uh, minus 0 then we can write 2 lambda plus 1 minus 2 and then we can write 3 lambda minus 4 minus 3 right so here we must keep one thing in mind whenever we have to find the direction uh, ratios of uh, a line uh, joining two points then uh, we can find out the direction ratios by subtracting the respective coordinates right so here uh, we have uh, uh, subtracted uh, x coordinate from x coordinate then y coordinate from y coordinate and z coordinate from z coordinate right so the drs of uh, this line pr is given by 5 lambda minus 3 this is 2 lambda minus 1 and this is 3 lambda minus 7 right so now we have got the direction ratios of pr right okay now let us see the uh, direction ratios of this line l right so the direction ratios of uh, uh, this line uh, L uh, can easily be taken uh, from the equation of uh, this line L right so here uh, 5 2 and 3 are the direction ratios of this line L right okay so once we have got the direction ratios of uh, uh, PR this is PR and this is the line L right and the angle between these two lines pr and this line l is 90 degrees and from vector algebra we know that uh, whenever uh, two lines or two vectors are perpendicular then uh, we have this condition that is uh, a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to zero right or in other words we can say that the dot product of uh, uh, the two vectors uh, vanishes right so here uh, we have this condition for uh, two lines to be perpendicular so here a1 b1 c1 are the direction ratios of uh, say uh, this line and a2 b2 c2 are the direction ratios of this line l right so now we can take uh, the direction ratios of uh, PR as uh, A1, B1, C1 and the direction ratios of this line uh, L as A2, B2 and C2, right? So now we can uh, utilize this condition. So we have 5 times uh, 5 lambda minus 3 then we have 2 times 2 lambda minus 1 and then we have 3 times uh, 3 lambda minus 7 is equal to 0 right so now we have uh, this linear equation in lambda so we can solve it so this is 25 lambda minus 15 this is 4 lambda minus 2 and this is 9 lambda minus 21 right so now we have here 25 lambda plus 4 is 29 plus 9 that is 38 lambda and here we have minus 15 minus 2 minus 17 and minus 21 that is minus 38 is equal to 0. So we have now 38 lambda is equal to 38. So we have lambda is equal to 1. Right. So here. Uh, the value of this scalar that is uh, lambda is equal to 1. So now uh, let us uh, substitute this value of lambda uh, over here, right? So uh, when we take lambda is equal to 1 in this coordinate, uh, we can find out the coordinates of uh, this point R, right? So here the coordinates of R can be uh, written as by taking lambda is equal to 1 
so here we have 5 times 1 minus 3 this is 2 times 1 plus 1 and this is 3 times 1 minus 4 and we can solve it so this is 5 minus 3 is 2 this is uh, 2 plus 1 3 and this is uh, 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 so viewers uh, here we have now got the uh, coordinates of this point r right so now uh, our this line uh, that is uh, p r and q it looks like as uh, the coordinates of point p r 0 2 3 and uh, the coordinates of r uh, are given by 2 comma 3 comma minus 1 and q is alpha beta and gamma right and c uh, we know that r is the uh, midpoint of uh, this line pq so the coordinates of uh, uh, r uh, can be written as if we take this uh, point as say x1 y1 z1 and we can take this point as x2 y2 z2 and this point as x y z then we know uh, from the midpoint formula that is uh, x is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 y is y1 plus y2 over 2 and z is z1 plus z2 over 2 right so from here uh, c x is 2 so we have 2 is equal to uh, x1 plus x2 so here we have 0 and here we have alpha so we have 0 plus alpha over 2 right and similarly here we have 3 is equal to uh, 2 plus beta 2 plus beta over 2 and from here we have minus 1 z is equal to minus 1 and z1 plus z2 is 3 plus gamma over 2 right so now we can uh, solve these three equations for alpha beta and gamma so from here uh, we get alpha is equal to 4 and from here we get beta is equal to uh, 2 times 3 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 and gamma is equal to here minus 2 is equal to 3 plus gamma so this is minus 2 minus 3 that is minus 5 so here we have minus 5 right so the coordinates of the image of this point p with respect to this line l are given by uh, 4 comma 4 uh, comma minus 5 right so this is the coordinate of the image uh, of this point p uh, which is q right so viewers uh, this is how uh, by making use of uh, uh, the concept of uh, direction ratios and the uh, uh, dot product of two vectors which are perpendicular to each other uh, we can find out the uh, image of a point uh, with respect to a given line.